you touched on some people objecting to making the web a more accessible place. And I have no doubt that there are people in our industry that may ask questions like, why should we do this for such a small group? And I'm using inverted commas if you're listening to this, of people and they'll want to see a business case for it. What's your message for those people? Well, my first message is asking for a business case for something that is a civil, civil right is ableist. So I usually start there and that usually takes them aback because then they're like, oh no, I'm not ableist because that sounds bad. You know, anything that ends in ist or ism is bad, right? I do occasionally put together the business cases only to speed things along, especially if the business case is overwhelming. So I just put together a business case at work where I'm like, okay, if we spend $60,000 on this, we're going to save $700,000 a year. Okay. That's an easy to win business case because I, both numbers are not pie in the sky. They're, they're very objective. And I rolled them up from the bottom. You know, sometimes you have to put together the business case anyways, even though the request itself is ableist, just until you've got everybody converted over to thinking more inclusively, but you got to start somewhere. I can't help but think though, that you would be fired for suggesting a business case to open up an experience to people of color, for example. So I call that the ableism test, pull out disability, substitute in something else, you know, okay, so this is New Zealand and I'm being facetious here. Would you be fired if you said, Hey, I want to launch this great product, but Maori can't use it. Yeah. Well, you, you most likely you would, you'd pay yeah, a huge social you, price at the exactly. very least. Yeah. So, so that is the disability equivalent of ableism, right? Take out disability, plug in some other identifiable group, be it gender, be it, you know, people of color or particular ethnicity or a particular religion. If it doesn't work for those more commonly understood cases, it's, it's ableist. So the, the big frustration point, uh, which I'm trying to work on right now, is that business people, and especially people in tech, because that's where I am right now, are rewarded for releasing software. They're not rewarded for releasing accessible software. If you change the reward system, the behavior will change because people do what they get rewarded to do. If they get rewarded for delivering a feature and they want to move on to the next feature right away because they're going to get rewarded for that too, guess what they're going to do? They're going to cut every corner that they can to collect the reward and move on to the activities that get them to the next reward.